Loading screen. That's on top of this one. It's not really, not really what I wanted, but I guess that's okay. All right, let's redo all this metal refining down here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think some of these are running over time. That's normal. That's normal. Right? Yeah. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. So just this one? Also normal. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. So that's six of them just running at full speed. So I could do three here and three on another deck. This is all off grid. This is on a different grid than the rest of the base here. Dad, it would work. Is it a uh, mom? Dad? Huh? You want to uh, get a. Uh, uh, one of these Lego sets when it's my uh, birthday. You want to get a Lego set for your birthday? Yeah. And you want that uh, water bottle for my birthday. That me want. <gasps> Good stuff. And that stuff. Oops. Nope. Gotta be careful to not delete the wrong thing here. Dad, don't take apart the right thing. Don't take apart the right thing, just take apart the wrong thing. Wait, no, that's not right either. Alright, we've got a whole storage container. Don't. Far as here, so and it's not even being used. Um, oh, do we? Hmm. All right, we're gonna throw away all this ore because no one needs all that ore. Dad. What's up, Cody? Wha did you die right there? I didn't die. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm trying to refactor my base. I'm doing status refactory. No. No? What are you talking about? Factory. Well, yeah, but I'm refactoring, so it's like status refactory. No. No. It, I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Sad? It's just sad is factory, not sad is refactory. Sad? Sad. Say sad. Sad. Factor. Factor. E. Status refactory. Status factory. Just satisfactory. E. Satisfactory three. No. No. Oh, now that's going to be a problem because that's not going to have any power. Sad. All right. So, mm, yeah, it still has power. It's hooked up somewhere else. We didn't need that anyway. All right. Perfect. Um. Say sad. Sad. Fact. Fact. Wait, sad Yay! fact. Sad factory. We don't want sad factory. We want saddest factory. Sad fact. The saddest factory. No, the sad fact. Sad factory. Sad factory. Sad factory. Sad factory. Sad factory. Push. Um, make the uh, tower base. Here, uh, doesn't like it. Mm. Ooh, woohoo! Funny. That is so funny. You're doodling around. You're just doodling around. You, Dad. I'm doodling around. There we go. Oh, yeah, good. Tear all that down. All right. Excellent. Where were we? We were going to put a Mark III lift on here. Let's come straight out. Looks like Mark III lift. There we go. Excellent. 
All right, so this has got plenty of bars. So that'll be fine for a while while we're refactoring over here. So let's um, tear we down that. everything that we don't Sorry. need. That goes over there. This. This mark three. Start this there. mark three over. There we go. Back over that door. way. Back door. Back door to re. Back. And then we can take that down. Door okay. Tea. Good. Okay. So previously I was doing splitters like this where I had all join into one, and then most of them go one way, and then uh, some small portion of them go the other way, so that I could preferentially fill containers. But uh, I think that I found a better way. So let's just tear all this down. And that down, and that down. Carefully. Good. Okay, and then, instead of all that, we'll do it like this. So these industrial storage containers have... Oh. Oh. There we go. Uh, there. Did that work? No. Up. Up there. Up there. Up there. Up there. Still won't work. Okay. Um, these industrials, George, here we go. I'll do it this way. I have a thing where if the uh, have a thing where if they have no access, I should probably move this somewhere else. Let's just move this over here so that's not. Intersecting with that box. And then we'll do a mark five. And then we'll just take all these and manually transfer some portion of them. Manual bandwidth is so high. Oh, and then we'll take a stack. Okay, so um, if you've got just run this, that, and then like that, good. So if you have no extra in here, let's just, okay, yeah, so those are all out. If you have no extra in here, then all of them that come in will go out the bottom, and you'll have nothing coming out the top. But if it ever backs up, like it will pretty shortly, then any of the excess will go out the top port. So this acts like an overflow buffer. And so I've started using all of my, doing all of my, uh, my machine my crusher guy? stuff this way, because, like I could do it for this, because if the, guy? if there's an overflow, um, then it, it goes 100% to the overflow, and if there's no overflow, it goes zero, whereas with the system I was using before, it was kind of a, a little bit half and half. So let's just build a um, little storage container over here. So I don't know, maybe, maybe everyone knew about this already, and I'm just late to the party, but it seems like pretty, pretty first drafts. All right, so that goes in there. Those go in there. those in. Right, so that's going to start filling up soon. Or, yeah, once that catches up. And then we can dump the rest 
into here. And the other crazy thing is you can dump them much faster than your actual supply line. Not that I need to, but it's a, it's a neat feature. So let's do that. So now there they go. And now all of them that are... So this keeps feeding. So now my production line won't back up over there. And we'll always have some in the line here because when this starts feeding, this stops feeding. Just like that. And then when that stops, it starts feeding again. So great. Ah, oh, lovely. So now those will overflow into the crusher. Oh, so good. And we can do the same thing for these refined crystals. So I imagine that this is backing up at some point. And the coal, really. Right, let's see. Let's do this. And this. And then we'll build a couple of these. Storage container here. And a storage container here. There. Excess coal, excess crystals. That's good. That's real good. Don't have to worry about balancing it anymore. Excess crystals. Cool. And excess motors. It's probably not making any difference. Any appreciable difference? That's weird. Why is it all red? Why is it all red? So I did the same thing with overflow on my Caterium wire. Uh, I can't quite get enough out with just one Mark V belt, so I've got the overflow splitting off two ways. But I think that should balance out properly in the long run. So I think that's it for this time. I've uh, added a factory for iron iron ingots. Iron ingots are being refined there. I've added an overflow for the heat sinks, overflow for the heat sinks, an overflow for the motors, overflow for I switched this over to an overflow instead of a a partial splitter uh, for the turbo motors and an overflow for the coal and the uh, quartz crystals. So it's getting a little better, getting there. Um, base is still kind of a mess, uh, but it's it's a little more organized. Oh, I rerouted a few of these conveyor belts so that they're not quite so messy. Not sure what I'm going to do next. It's gotten so that it's very manageable now. Uh, things are kind of separated out into their, their individual components, and I'm feeling pretty confident that this is a sustainable level of complexity. I've got, what, one, two major grids going? That's on this grid. All this stuff is on this grid. That one's on... Yeah, it's on that grid. That's on its own grid. I guess it's fine. It's fine. And uh, we'll see if they ever need the space elevator again. But if they do, it's right in the middle of my base. So I'm ready for it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, yeah, and then there's my, my Omni part manifold with all the spare parts that I might need. And Oh, actually, let's go take a look inside there. Let's go take a look inside the um, 
the factories. Saw that one. So let's go take a look inside. This. Copper plate factory. It's not actually... I don't know. I don't feel like it's as, as impressive uh, on the outside as it is on the inside, but... It's not particularly an impressive design. It's just a whole bunch of... whole bunch of factories. Oh, I should put an overflow on these, too. Well, not right this instant. So you can see the whole thing is covered over. Uh, I didn't cover the back, but that's fine. So I've got four of these refineries turning copper ore and water into ingots. And then those all feed in to splitters. Let's go from the bottom here. Uh, I had to be a little clever about... Well, I don't know if I had to. I was a little bit clever about how I fed these in because there wasn't enough room to route these around. So each of these feeds half of the factory. So a pair of these feeds three on each deck, on each of three decks. So then this one just does a simple split and it's got two conveyors going up. And I put these little walkways around so that it wouldn't, there wouldn't be as many large holes in the ground on the floor. And then they each feed up into here. So this deck has only four instead of six, uh, but the rest of them have six per deck. You can see that one's got six, and that one's got six. And they all feed into mergers straightforward. And these are all unclocked. They're just normal ones. Should probably put like a, a door or a window or something in here so I can get out more easily. Uh, but I do have a door over here. It's the only door. And then at some point, I suppose, I could close this in. Although, I've got trains running through here. Eh, it's fine. It looks good from one side. That's fine. I figured I'd leave it orange because you know, copper's kind of orange, kind of orangey color. Yeah, I should put a, I should put an overflow in here so I can use my full capacity. So this has got access here, so I could put an overflow in over here anywhere really. Hmm. Anywhere that doesn't have a bunch of stuff in it already. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Overclocking and refactoring. The saddest refactory. Catch you guys next time.